should, what impact do you think that it well, has on people? Like? I think, um, I don't want to speak from a uh, Kyokushin karate point of view, but it, it makes them very rounded. Um, and we, we, we teach them that uh, even though we're teaching a violent sport, that uh, we're not violent people. Mm. And that fitness, health, and the many benefits that come from exercise and karate in particular, and what you should be seeking not to, not to be able to get out and, and actually and actually fight mm. and um, some of the things you get is uh, self-discipline which is very important to your everyday life I mean, I've had lots of uh, people tell me over the years that that's the most probably the most important thing they got out of it that uh, when things got uh, difficult in their life they had the, the self-discipline and determination to follow through mm. I think that's good they have uh, uh, certainly, uh, and I think this is one of the main things that karate uh, is a is a long term thing. I, I was in South Africa recently, and the South African government is, uh, is is very much into supporting the martial arts. And they asked the uh, the uh, the minister of sports why they're doing that, and it's because they. They tried uh, putting a lot of money into soccer, and not the soccer's not the soccer's a wonderful game, of course. The problem with it was that the young men, and there's a massive unemployment in South Africa amongst young men, if they didn't make the team, they simply dropped out. Mm. So they go into soccer, and six months later, a huge amount of them was again back in the streets. Mm. Whereas the martial arts is such a long term thing that they get involved for many years and, and that's what the government want. They want them off the streets, doing physical activities, giving them motivation in life and he felt that the martial arts, and in my case karate, but the general martial arts did that for them. Yeah.